Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penge and welcome to what is going to be the final part of Series Makers because we here at the Geeky Teapot Studios have been making TV series for almost 34 years and I think it's time for that to come to a close. We've done very well, we've got a good pedigree of shows but I think it's time for us to close if only to let poor Penge here have a day off because not one day has gone by way as not not been in here slaving away, working on scripts and doing camera work and doing other TV show stuff. I have not had a single day off. All this lot keep going on holidays. They can have loads of holidays all the time. Me? Here? No. No holidays. So it's time. It's time to shut up shop. But not before we have done some final things. Number one, I want to get a streaming thing set up. And now we've got 180 million. I think we can probably go and do that. Also, I want to research everything that we can research. I want to do all of the research, even the little tiny piddly things that we're not going to include in any future technology kits. I just want to get them out of the research tree. Another thing I want to research is all of the different themes, just because I want all of those as well. I kind of want to just sort of complete everything as much as we can do, just as much as we can get done here now. And then I can kind of sort of go, do you know what? We did series makers. We did okay. We had a good go at it and we've done everything we can. So let's start doing some of that now, shall we? So Norma, research some themes. Artists. I mean, what kind of weird theme is that? But okay, you, Claire, research the fashion theme. Absolutely. You here, do more research. Research more themes. Drugs. <laughs> go and research some drugs. You, themes. Go and research game development. We could actually do that, I suppose. We could make a thing of that. Uh, right, okay, a theme. Let's go down. There's quite a few left. There's quite a few left. We haven't got sports. Yeah, okay, sports, yep. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you're very good at all this stuff. You're the mastermind. You can go and research martial arts. That is lovely. Right, artist is done. Let's just get everybody now finishing stuff off. Lovely. Drugs, game development, all this other stuff is finished. Sports and then martial arts. Okay, now, ooh, of what is what's it called? Oh, I've got a bit of a cold and my knee hurts. Is doing very well for us. It is doing fantastically well. So I think we're okay at the moment to just continue doing research. So you can do that. You can get whatever that thing is done. Airplanes. You here. You can do the next one down, which was racing, was it? Is that it? So racing, that's the final theme. Okay, we've done all the themes. Now let's research all these other things. So uh, yeah, look, there you go. 50k for Simple Sound V3. I want to get it out of the way. I want to get that out of the way. Uh, 25 million for a 4K smart curve TV. 18, 1800 research points. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's go for that. Absolutely. Get that done as well. What about stereo sound for 100K? Yeah, get that done. All of these things need to be researched. Airplanes is done. Lovely. Racing is done. Okay. Simple sound V3 is done. More research, please. Um, let's get soundtrack. Uh, you here, you can research professional sound because that gets it off the list. You can do professional camera. You've done all this stuff. Uh, you can do that. And you over here, Skylar, you can do 4K. And I think that is everything. I don't think there is anything left for us to research. I don't think there's anything left. A few people, by the way, in uh, the comments on the previous video have called for the firing of Claire Overwood. I don't think I am going to fire Claire. Claire has been in this from the beginning and I'm going to keep Claire. It would seem a bit harsh now as we're winding down to get rid of her. It would seem a little bit mean. That is very good. Look at that. Right, Davina Rouge just finished the soundtrack research for that. Lovely. Right, Norma's on holiday and that's it. I think in terms of research, we've got nothing left to do. Let's have a look. No, no research. There is no research for us to complete. We've still got 8,400 research points, which is a little bit ludicrous. Um, Right, now what shall we do? We need to make a new series, but we could now, now we've got nothing left to do a sort of research, we know that the technology kit that we create right now is going to be pretty much the best we can do. So let's create a new technology kit. Right, technology kit number seven. No, we, were called, we called it shiny tech, didn't we? Shiny tech number seven is going to have all the best things in it. So it's going to, let's go down the list. So it doesn't need that, right? HD boost, I imagine. I know, see, maybe we don't need HD boost anymore. CGI is probably a useful thing. But then again, I don't, I don't really know. Blockbuster camera, yes. We don't need professional, we don't need multi, we don't need mono. 4K, yes. Full HD, yes. 3D cameras, yes. Motion capturing, CGI. I think we have those in, so we'll have those in. Right, sound is going to be very similar. So blockbuster sound, yes, please. We'll have a soundtrack, we'll have voice actors, we'll have an orchestra, we'll have a bass boost, and 
Uh, what else have we got? Blockbuster sound. Well, let's have surround sound. Let's put that. See, is that 50k? Is that going to make a difference? Do we need surround sound if we've got all this other stuff? If we've got blockbuster sound. I don't know. And this is the thing which still confuses me about this game. There's no context behind these. What does this do for us? What does this do? Does it help us? Does it give us a, a plus 2% boost to all our sound kind of values that we make? You know, it, what does it do? It's sort of this hidden value that it's just sort of there. <laughs> I don't think we're going to take it. We've got bass boost, we've got orchestra, voice actors, and a soundtrack. We've got the blockbuster sound. But then, yeah, but it doesn't have anything to do with that, actually, does it? Surround sound is not actually covered. So, yeah, we'll, we'll throw surround sound in. Right, okay, screenplay. We don't want a linear story. Let's have an interactive story, and let's have author assistance. Uh, this stuff will have a sidekick and a running gag. And then here, we want all of these things. All the shiny, shiny things. 21 million to make this kit. That seems quite expensive, but it's the final technology kit we're ever going to make, so let's do it. There we go. They're throwing all the bits in. So yeah, it's costing us quite a lot in staff. We could possibly do with getting another series under our belt, uh, which I do have an idea for, by the way. Uh, somebody suggested something in one of the previous videos, and I went, yeah, that's good. But then I think we're gonna we're gonna tweak it a little bit. We're gonna make something ever so slightly different. So there you go. Right, all done. That is beautiful. It's all sorted. Okay, so let's make a new series. Uh, we're going to pick a theme. It's going to be animation and animals. So animated animals. It's going to be, oh, now. Now, where could we do this? Now, in my head, it's in space. It's in space. <laughs> it's in a different place. So animated animals in space. And do you know what? We're just going to do it. If it makes us go broke, then what the heck? Never mind. Uh, target audience 6 plus, obviously. TV stations, we can pick two of these now. So we'll pick both of those because I want to keep the cost down for now. Uh, technology kid, we will have shiny tech number seven. Pick a director now. In the previous ones, I've been go I've been picking Mr. Mastermind here as the director because he has the highest number of directy kind of points just here. But every time it's come up, it's saying, "Oh, the director is terrible," and that's because he's not actually a director. So even though his score is higher, because his job is not a director, he's a mastermind, it comes up as a bad thing. He says, well, the directing was terrible. So we need to figure out who's got the highest. I think it's Kevin, uh, appropriately, Kevin High. Hi. So he's got 702, and I've got 361. I need to fire me. Can I get rid of me? Right, so we'll have Kevin High as the director. So Michael Voss can just go and do masterminding. We will have a blockbuster thing, please. And um, yeah, so I'm going to sort of... It was Something was suggested to me in the comments. I'm going to take that, but I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to change what was suggested to you know, make it possibly slightly more ludicrous. Yep, that's right. We're going to call this Drizzle Hamsters. Now, just hear me out here. Hear me out, because that looks like the ramblings of a complete madman, which I suppose it sort of is. But the idea was that we base something on Thundercats, and the original suggestion was, why not have lightning dogs? But then I thought, well, okay, that's good, because, you know, thunder and lightning are linked together, and cats and dogs. And I thought, well, why not just take it a step further? And instead of having lightning, why don't we have another form of weather that people talk about, particularly in the UK, and that is drizzle. Oh, when it's pouring with rain, everyone just goes, oh, it's raining. And you know, when there's thunder, everyone goes, wow, big storm. When it's drizzling, oh, everyone goes absolutely bernarded. So everyone just goes crazy. Oh, it's drizzling. Do I need an umbrella? Do I need a coat? How big is the drizzle? Is it going to get worse? Is it going to dry out? Oh, it's drizzling. So drizzle gets everyone talking. So we're going to have drizzle. And then I just thought hamsters, because hamsters don't get enough kind of TV credit. They're lovely and cute. They're so cute and cuddly with their big cheeks. So I thought drizzle hamsters, you know, they're kind of a team of, of hamsters that go really well when it's drizzling. <laughs> they have an awful lot going on for them when it's drizzling and they're kind of like super hamsters and stuff. So yeah, I think we go for that. 20 million to make animated uh, an animation in space. Now, because it's animation in space, I think that will go okay. I think animation should go well with any setting, really. You can animate anything, really. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's animated. So this should be okay. And obviously 6 Plus, who has got cute little hamsters in. So let's go for this, shall we? Let's make drizzle hamsters. Now, of course, uh, oh, I've got a bit of a cold and my knee hurts is still going. So that's going to still bring in some money, which is lovely. And then we want this to do 
incredibly well. We want this to do fantastically well. Then it can get us over, say, 200 million. And when we're over 200 million, I think we can go forth and do our, um, our streaming service thing. Now, people did point out to Ty, uh, I miserably failed to understand how the streaming service cost worked. And yep, you're absolutely right. I really did. <laughs> I was terrible. Uh, I didn't realize that the numbers added up. But I do think that maybe I could be a bit justified in, uh, in sort of being a little bit stupid because they didn't add up exactly. We'll look at that very, very shortly. Right, let's throw both of those things in. Right, humor. Humor needs to be very important in this animation. So there we go, we'll have humor. Action, not that important. Uh, let's bring action up to say 20%. Uh, yeah, like that. Why don't we bring it down to that? In fact, no, let's have a bit more humor. It's very important. How about we do that? Uh, no, I want, no, 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 no. 20, 60, hang on, no, right, action down, action down, there, there, that. 20% action, 20% complexity, 60% humor. It's hilarious. It's a laugh a minute, this place. It's absolutely a laugh a minute, is Drizzle Hamsters. So everybody working very hard. Michael Voss generating many, many things and many, many errors. Everybody just generated a load of errors there. Why was that? Did we all go out? And there, look. Are we all going out heavily drinking the night before those happen? <laughs> look at this. Oh, I've got a bit of a cold and my knee hurts. Is coming up to the end of the series because it does have like an end of series kind of uh, boost. Just as people go, oh, let's tune in for the end. But yep, yeah, so it's all going well. Right, and then this thing in here is going to kick in. Oh, and everyone needs to go on holiday all at the wrong time. It's all very bad. Uh, right, we'll have both of those things in. So this is going to be funny. So we want Bill Beryl. We want Bill Beryl in. Absolutely, yes, please. Right, you can go on vacation. Just get everybody on vacation. All of you on vacation as we write the protagonist, which is brilliant. Well done, folks. Good job. Right, you're back. As long as Michael's around, it's fine. He's the mastermind. He's the good one. He can do all the work. Let's be honest. He's just doing all of the work. He's keeping us afloat. Protagonist is going in. It's on 1.9k. We've got a new technology. You're absolutely right. Okay, we need to do some marketing. We need to do an international campaign. Let's market the heck out of Drizzle Hamsters. People around the world shall know its name. Uh, really? I was sort of expecting those to be over 3,000. Right, let's put all of these things in. Now, we have to be a little bit careful because we don't want to throw everything in because we've got some rubbishy things in. I still love that there's an alcohol option. <laughs> Do we just go and get everyone drunk? Right, so 16 to 9, a motivation boost, Blu-ray, DVDs, team working, alcohol, smart TV, curve TV, super TV. <laughs> Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super TV. Uh, right, we'll have surround sound. In fact, with all these things we do want in, don't we? because we didn't put the rubbish things into the technology kit. So yeah, Blockbuster Sound, heroic soundtrack. Oh yes, Drizzle Hamsters needs one of those. Symphony Sounds, bass boost, surround sound for 25k. It's going to have CGI, because it's an animated thing, so presumably it would. It's going to have motion capturing, a three-day camera with a K, a full HD, a 4K, and a Blockbuster camera. 17 million just to chuck the technology in. It seems expensive, but it's required. Right, okay, let's get all these people doing their jobs. Right, Michael the Mastermind, you can go down here, I think, into the design bit. Kevin can help with the directing, and Divina can go into the sound. I think Claire's going to handle the camera work on her own. So let's see what these go up to. I'm hoping they go up quite a lot. So 262422. Two, two. Let's have a look what they go up to. 2624. Oh my goodness me. That one went up over 700. Yeah, okay, that's good. So hopefully, when we come out of this, the last touches they do will push all of these values over 3,000. Because that's kind of, that's what I want. I want the writing to go over 3,000, please. Yeah, 3,002. Oh, look at this. It's a beautiful thing. 1.2k of fame. Let's just iron out the mistakes that we're making. We're paying an awful lot in staff. So if you could do this really quickly, <laughs> that'd be great. But look at the fame is creeping up. Mistakes are coming down, and do you know what? We're done. Let's just get on with it. Let's just get this thing published. Drizzle Hamsters, you are finished. New tech kit, multi-theme, multi-platform, good marketing. Okay, all this stuff, bibbly bobbly boo Yeah, get all that done. Absolutely. Lovely, lovely. Broadcast it. Bill Beryl has leveled up. Let's give him 10 happiness points, and one in bravery, and one in intelligence. Okay, that. You lot need holidays. That is absolutely fine. You can now go on holidays. What are the critics going to say? Please be generous with Drizzle Hamster 7.5. We want to see new settings themes. Really? Really? The director Kevin High was amazing. Bill Beryl was good. The setting theme combination space animation was meh. Yeah, animation in space. That would never work, would it? Oh my goodness me. Okay, fine. So that was a bad thing, was it? Right, Claire needs a vacation. Okie dokie. Uh, you can do the series report. Ah, you can do the series report for that one as well. 
You can do the series report for Drizzle Hamsters. Let's get that done. Drizzle Hamsters is still going to draw in an awful lot of people. 6.1 million. It goes up as well. It does go up. There's normally a little increase in this at so 6.6. City Hospital is a perfect combination. Okay, yep. Yeah. What about the other one then? So Space Animation is a bad combination. Is it really? Is it really? Okay, fine. I, I would have thought that was a good combination, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, right, okay. So we've done all the research we can do. We've done everything. This is now just making some nice monies. Let's go and try and sort this thing out because now we can do this. Now, yeah, people were saying, oh, look, you did it wrong. You did it wrong um, because yeah, the numbers added up make 70 million. Because I was saying, well, hang on a minute. I can't afford 70 million plus 30 million plus 40 million plus one and a half million. But I mean, OK, I think that is right. So the basic cost of 40, the marketing is 30. So the one time is 70 million because 40 million plus 30 million is 70 million. But I mean, it says a one time. It's a one time payment. So I was kind of thinking, well, hang on, 40 million. We're going to be paying a lot per month. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> it makes sense now I look at it. I think because I was taking the monthly value in and thinking, well, hang on a minute, all those added together doesn't equal that. But yeah, obviously it's going to cost us one and a half million a month. I'm going to spend 30 million on marketing up front. So let's pick a couple of series. What series do we want on here? Well, let's pick the best ones that we've ever done. So I Am The Law is quite good. That got a nine. That's City Lawyers. That's got to be a good thing. Uh, and then um, what else can we have? Saving Private Brian's Friend's Dad's Dog. People are going to love that on there. That's going to be great. So now it's going to cost two million per month. Oh, my goodness me. What if we ramp that up six minutes? A one-time payment of 100 million. Can we create this now? So you can only add two series at a time. Your service will go live after you've added at least 10 series. Why can I only add two at a time? This is what I don't understand. So if I create a service, I need to give it a name, obviously. I can create this service for 100 million of my monies. So Drizzle Hamsters will have to kind of keep us afloat, I think. But um, I don't get... Where, why it only goes live when we've added more series. I don't understand. Why can't we just add the 10 series in right now? It doesn't seem to compute. Okay, well, what do we want to call our streaming service? I think let's just do that. Let's turn it into a legacy because one day we are indeed going to be shut. We're not going to be doing this anymore. So yeah, let's create Geeky Teapot, the streaming service. Uh, 60 million in marketing, all this stuff, 2 million per month. Let's create this service and just see what the heck happens with this. Because I genuinely don't understand why well, I can only add two series at a time. Your service will go live after you've added at least 10 series. Well, I don't understand why I can't just do that. So let's create that. We spent an awful lot of money and now can we do anything else? No, I can't do it. I can do staff protagonist or series history. Oh no, they're working on the streaming service. Oh, they're making it. Oh, they're, pre they're all preparing it. Oh dear, well I hope Drizzle Hamsters keeps on being very successful because we're going to run out of money. <laughs> I think, I think we pay 9.1 million in staff. Uh, hang on a minute. So we pay 9.1 million in staff, but each month we're getting four lots of those payments. We're getting, I don't know, 9, 18, 27, 36 million-ish in terms of money coming in from Drizzle Hamster. So I think we'll be okay. Right, tutorial streaming. There are several factors of your added series which give your streaming service a popularity rating. The higher your rating is, the more subscribers are willing to join your service. Oh, good. Um, right, okay. So now we add, oh, I see. So we're adding series as we go. Right, let's add a couple more then. So let's add, let's add, oh, I've got a bit of a cold and my knee hurts. And then let's add ourselves... Um, oh, where's Oinkle and Quacky? Oh, a waste of space. That was good. So, yeah, continue. So, keep doing that. Yeah, okay. We could do with keep making some money. Drizzle Hamsters, keep funding us, please. <laughs> We're going to run out of money. It's all going to go horribly wrong. 73 Drizzle Hamsters is absolutely raking it in at the minute. That's beautiful. 11 million for a program about hamsters. Michael, you're not allowed on holiday. You're, you're the man who's doing the streaming service. You're the only reason we're doing this. Um, let's add... Some classics. Let's add a classic, shall we? Uh, damn it, Jim, I'm a surgeon, not a doctor. We'll add that. And we will add ourselves... Um, what about something else that's... What about Sheriff McShooty Pants? Where's Sheriff McShooty Pants? Have I already added that? No. Okay, I can't add them all then. Right, okay, so I can't add everything. Oinkle and Quacky, Farmyard Defenders. So let's add that in. This takes quite a long time, doesn't it? 
This takes a heck of a long time. I'm glad this thing is raking in a bit of cash. But yeah, hopefully, once Geeky Teapot streaming service is done, that will just continue to make us infinite amounts of money and we can just sit back and not do anything then. That's my plan. That's my overall goal. Right, surely it's time to add another couple of series. Okay, we're on six out of ten. Right, let's add let's add a sequel. Saving Private, uh, Private Brian's friend's dad, Duck. Let's put that in because that might be quite good. And then we want to add in basically the highest rated things that we have. So they're all down that end, 8 and 8.5s and stuff. There was Rune 2 in Sheriff McShooty Pants. So there was an 8.5. So, all right, The Talking Dead. Let's put The Talking Dead in. So continue that, please. Come on. I want to get this done now. I want to get this done. 129 million, though. That is seeing us through. Drizzle Hamsters is indeed paying its way. But yeah, it's coming down. The money is coming down. It's no longer getting a lot. It's probably, at some point, it's just going to break even. It's going to break even where we're going to have enough money to pay the staff, but we're not going to be making a profit. Uh, right, and the last two series. We've got a popularity of 91. So we need to find the highest rated series we've got. Right, Peter Pajama the Llama Farmer is an 8.5. Boar of the World is 8.5. Jack the Clipper is 8.5. Right, Space Walking Dead is 8.75. So we definitely need to include that. So let's have the Space Walking Dead. And the last one we can add in... Uh, we could have bore the worlds. We haven't got any sort of aliens, have we? I don't think we've got any alien stuff. So uh, what was the other one? Jack the Clipper. Oh, that's a horror, though. We haven't got a horror in. Let's have Jack the Clipper. Let's add Jack the Clipper in. Oh, everyone needs to go on holiday all of a sudden. Come on. Come on. We need to get this in because it needs to start bringing us in an awful lot of money. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, we shall go out of business and I shall be sad. It's coming up to the end. So is there a final thing we need to do? Like, do we need to have a final payment or something? Because this is going to cost money per month to run. So hopefully... Hey, your streaming service, Geeky Teapot, is launching today. I expect a little panel to appear down here, which shows us how well it's doing. But it's not. <laughs> how do we do this? Right, streaming, what can we do then? So uh, we've got nothing much going on. It's going to cost us 5.5 million per month. Plus, we've got a popularity of 98 We've got 10 series. In 23 weeks, we can add new series. How does this work? Oh, 7.9. Ah, there. Right. I was going to say, surely, surely there should be another little bit popping up. Awesome. Your streaming service is running. You have to feed it up. Feed it up with new series. Otherwise, it will lose on popularity and subscribers. You can add new series every 25 weeks, but you need to add at least three new series to your streaming service. That is okay. We have got much. We've got much back catalogue to choose from. So this thing just made us... 947k. So Geeky Teapot is making 6.8 million. Is that right? What's the red? What's the red bar? That's people leaving. Oh, that's the cost. Oh, that's the cost as opposed to the... Ah, that's the cost as opposed to the profit that we're making. So, for example, that cost is a million. But, oh my goodness me, it's all going... Oh, this is, this is crazy. It's just making constant, constant monies. Right. Let's make a new series, shall we? In fact, can we do a commission? Is it worth trying to do one of these ludicrous commissions? An advertising film, nine weeks. Yeah, well, let's just try it. 1.2 million penalty. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's see if we can do this. We do do quite well at these things. Bonjour, Geeky Teapot. We are big fans of how to train your children. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, 17,000 fans. Lovely, lovely. I'm more interested in whether we can do this or not. Uh, I, do you know what? I think we might be all right. The camera work is a little bit worrying. That's not even dipped down under 1,000. There we go. That's going to come down. I think we'll be okay, he says. Now, suddenly keeping an eye on the camera stuff. Maybe we're not going to be okay. Come on, come on, come on. Work harder, everybody. Work harder. Nobody go on holiday at this point, please. Nobody have the orange bar under them complain that you're tired when we're doing a very, very bit. No, this is unacceptable, you two. <laughs> unacceptable. No, you're going to stay here until, until you've done all the work. Thank you. Oh, it's going to be a bit touch and go, I think, now. It's going to be very close. It's the camera work one. Right. The sound is done pretty much. Everybody don't work on sound anymore. Don't produce sound stuff. It's a waste of time. Now we're going to do it. We're going to be fine. And ta-da. Project finished. 3.1 million of your money. Right. Send you on vacation. Send you on vacation. Lovely, lovely. Geeky Teapot has 19 million subscribers. So, yeah. It's just making a constant profit, which is lovely. Look at that. It's just, it's just bringing in the money. Okay. We need to make ourselves, when these two are back, another series. So let's see what we can do. So do we want to create a sequel to one that's already been in? Maybe we do. 
Maybe we do. Let's see what was good. Uh, what was the last one we did? We did um, uh, animated animals in space, which was apparently a terrible thing to do. So let's... What about this? Oh, that's in space, though. We can't do a space business. We can't do another space business thing because they're just going to go, whoa, that's terrible. Uh, learning stuff and things? That, that worked quite well. <laughs> we could do that again. Uh, education school. I mean, it's a bit boring. It's not very exciting, is it? Uh, we've got a load of new things we could try. Uh, what new things have we got? Hang on, new series. Pick a theme. We had lots of them. Well, we had some rubbish ones like artists. I mean, I don't re artists in a city. Who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? With that sports. We could do a sports one or racing. Oh yeah, should we do a racing? Let's do a racing thing. So we'll have racing. I mean, and this is all a bit silly, isn't it? Because who knows how this is going to work. Uh, the only thing I can think of is racing in a city. But, I mean, that's just naughty. You're going to cause accidents if you go racing in a city. But okay, we'll have that. Pick TV stations. I'm very tempted to just go, bosh, bosh, done. That's going to cost 43 million for those two things. But that's fine. We'll have it as an 18 plus. We'll pick the technology kit of that one. We'll pick the director of of Mr. High, hi, and then we'll pick the biggest project size we can do. So it's going to cost us 58 million just to make a racing city series. But okay, what should we call it? So in homage to the Fast and the Furious, we are going to have an entirely different take on a racing genre kind of film series thing because we're going to call it the Slow and the Ponderous. Because whereas the Fast and the Furious is all about young, exciting people, young, dynamic folks going out and doing heists, the Slow and the Ponderous is going to look at the other end of life. It's going to focus on old people. And yes, they're still going to be racing, but instead of racing to do dramatic things, like, you know, I don't know what they're doing in the Fast and the Furious. I've never seen one shot car but I know they're gonna go and rob some diamonds or something I've no idea but no this one they're just racing down to the post office to pick up a book of stamps perhaps that's that's the level we're at here but there's still racing involved I mean it's 18 plus because oh some of the old people do have a bit of a potty mouth on them so uh, yes the slow and the ponderous it will be 58 million to get this done but hopefully hopefully the uh, Geeky Teapot subscription thing will keep things ticking over quite nicely. Although, to be fair, those subscribers are coming down. 16 million now. We are earning a little bit less from it. Yeah, 2.9 million all of a sudden. I mean, yeah, can we put our prices up? That would be ideal. Let's send you on vacation. 2.7 million as the subscribers continue to plummet, which is a little bit worrying. 2.4 million. Because we can't change this. We're not allowed to change our streaming thing yet. We can't add a series because we've not been doing it for so many weeks. So yeah, I don't know quite when we're allowed to add it. What did it say? After 25 weeks or something it said, didn't it? So that's a bit weird. So um, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. It's a shame it's coming down quite so rapidly because I was hoping <laughs> to use that to fund this thing. But um, okay, oh, hang on. Streaming number one, City Racing. Is, is It's not called streaming number one. No, 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 no. That's incorrect. Um, right, okay. Racing. It's got to have lots of action, I imagine. Um, and probably a little bit of humour and a little bit of complexity. But I imagine that's a good balance. I think that's going to be a good balance for that. Maybe we'll notch the complexity up a tiny bit and the humour down a bit. Yeah, like that. 55, 20, hang on a minute, 55, 20, 24. No, I'm being robbed there. There we go. That's much better. Thank you. Thank you, numbers, for arranging yourselves properly. So, yeah. Over half action, a little bit of humour, sort of tongue-in-cheek old person jokes or something, I don't know. And then a uh, quarter complexity, because, you know, it's very complicated. Maybe they do some parallel parking or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they reverse into a parking space, which is very complicated. So, yes, we'll do that, please. I don't get this streaming service thing. I don't know why all of a sudden it has completely plummeted into non-existent. Look at it. It's come right down. It's come right down. There's 10 series on there. There's 10 series. Come on, everybody, subscribe. Do we need to do some sort of marketing? Oh, yeah, we could do that, actually. We're doing an international campaign marketing thing. I don't know if that helps Geeky Teapot subscription service or not, but I do not know. Right, do that vacation quickly. Go on vacation very quickly, you two. And now it's making absolutely nothing at all. It's just plummeted in terms of subscribers, which is very, very weird because we can't really do much about it. Um, and I think it's going to be Barney, isn't it? Uh, Bravery 100... Yeah, it's going to be Barney. That'll do. That'll do. A few people again in the comments said, oh, you need to create some new protagonists. It's fine. These are, he's popular. He's good. He's been around the block. Look, he's got popularity of 34. He's been in 11 things. It's all looking good. So yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have an all-action hero. Thank you very much. You need to go on vacation. 
We d yeah, this is this is rubbish. This thing is just absolutely tanked. Nobody subscribes to Geeky Teapot anymore, and we can't do anything about it. We can't add a thing to it. The popularity is coming down. It costs five point five million a month to run, and yeah, it's just making a massive loss. I don't really see what we can do with it. Look, it's it's making more loss than profit. Oh dear. Right, we need this thing, which has renamed itself Streaming Number One, unfortunately, to um to be quite good. I'm not just sending it to the streaming thing. I want to sell it to the people as well. I didn't set it to be a streaming thing. I picked two particular individuals for it, didn't I? I picked two sort of, uh, whatever they are, broadcasters. Uh, right, Claire, Penge, Scarlet, Norma. Lovely. Right, okay. Again, these bottom two are struggling a bit. So Kevin, the director, can go and help me. Michael can go and help the style. Um, you can go and do the visuals. The sound might suffer a little bit, but I'm sure it'll all be fine. As long as they're all over 3,000, it will be absolutely fine. In fact, the camera work is already over 3,000. That is 34 million gone. We need this thing to be done, and we need it to be very successful. And it needs to happen relatively soon, because otherwise we're going to be broke. Right, iron out all these mistakes, please. Get rid of all the errors, and let's see how well um, the Slow and the Ponderous does, even though, annoyingly, it's called Streaming Number 1, which is a little bit frustrating, but never mind. Right. Mistakes coming down. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Zero mistakes. Everything is over 3K. Right, we need to just get it done, because we're losing money. So, ping, we're all done. You go on vacation. You go on vacation, quickly. Right, multiplies. New theme, awesome combo. Multi-platform, good marketing. It's all splendid. Yeah, broadcast. This has got to be good. Surely this has got to be better than a 7.5 rating. It's just called streaming number one. That is rubbish. And again, 7.75. I do not know what to do to make something good in this game. It just seems to be entirely random. It just seems to be, we've put the best technology kit we've got in there. The absolute best technology kit. It's the finest thing the world has ever seen. We've got rate, like the numbers here, three and a half thousand, three point one. It's all brilliant and amazing. The story was terrific. The team was outstanding. The director was perfect. This person here, Andre, has, has criticised uh, the the uh, protagonist has criticised Barney. That's fine. Yet he gave us an eight. Yet the team was outstanding and the director was perfect. Both sevens. I don't know what more we can do. I don't really know what more we can do to make something better than 7.75. Okay, yes, fine, right. And then this is annoying as well because it's not called streaming number one. It had a good name and you've kind of ruined that, but never mind. Um, so 1.7 million. Um... Is it making money? 5.5 million for streaming number one. I'm really annoyed that it's called it streaming number one. That's not right. That's not what it was called. And also this is going across two things as well. It should be making a bit more money than that, I would have thought. I would have thought that is making quite a lot now. Uh, okay, let's do a quick commission. Let's do one of these. Oh, biography, 855K. Let's just do one of those really quickly. <laughs> See how fast we can do one of these. Yep. Yeah absolutely just it pays for nothing it pays for some tea we have very expensive tastes over here now if we actually complete it which we might not do because everybody is faffing about doing everything else do the writing side of it please really urgently like now 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 now, now. complete it thank you only just good grief right michael go on vacation goodness me um yeah 7.1 million yeah, it's not it's not doing as well as i thought it's not doing as well as i thought right hopefully we can add some more series to geeky teapot uh, which is a bit weird that we can only add them every however long. That seems a little bit silly. Add at least three. Well, okay. Let's add in uh, streaming number one, which is really irritating. Then let's add in um, Lord of the Blings, because that's an AAA. And then let's add in, well, there's another 8.5 somewhere up here, wasn't there? Let's add in Peter Pajama, the Llama Farmer. So there you can add two more series. Oh, okay, lovely. Let's try and get this up and running. Let's get a French werewolf in Ye Olde Luton and add another series. Let's get ourselves learning stuff and things. I like that. That will do. We'll save that. We'll see how this does for the subscribers. Two million. Two million. Still two million. Still two million people for Geeky TV. <laughs> oh, no, they've not added them yet. They've got to add them in. Okay, right. Quickly, 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 because nobody subscribes anymore. Because presumably everybody's watched the TV series and we're weirdly only allowed to add some series every 25 weeks or some such nonsense. But okay, uh, streaming number one is making quite a nice bit of money. 
but geeky teapot streaming service is absolutely hemorrhaging money. Um, yeah, we can't do anything while they're working on this. They're adding the series to it. The series already made. Why is it taking you several months to add a series to a streaming service? It, it, it's sort of difficult. Um, new series have been added. You can have more series in 25 weeks or close the streaming service. Well, why would I want to do that? It's now, oh, it went from 1 million to 33 million subscribers. That's very, very silly. Okay, yep, so it's making some money again. Let's see if we can do a quick commission. Uh, Three million marketing campaign. Yeah, try it. Whatever. Who cares? Whatever. We'll give, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a jolly good go. and We'll see if it works. 13,000 research points. <laughs> this is all very daft. So we need to make one final thing. One final thing that we know is going to be... Well, that we know is going to be good. I think we could make a new protagonist. We'll get somebody to do that at some point. Uh, right, you're in. Right, everyone's back. Are we going to do this marketing campaign? Come on. We're kind of out in the middle of the values and we're in the middle of the time. So we might just scrape it. I think the camera might be a potential issue. The camera work might be where we fall down on this. And we'll have to shell out a bit of money for it. But never mind. It's all fine. Camera work is coming down. Actually, the camera stuff is coming down. If we could work on it far quicker, we might just scrape it. We might absolutely do this by the skin of our teeth. Now it's the sound. Everyone concentrate on the sound, please. Come on. Just. We just made ourselves three million on doing that. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, let's make a new protagonist. Let's get some protagonists underway, shall we? Uh, is there a series report we can do? No. Okay. Uh, right. Protagonists. If that was what people were complaining about last time, let's just make a protagonist. And let's get Scarlet to do it because she has got good design skills. So let's get Scarlet to just make a protagonist. Bibbly bobbly boo. Anytime you like, Scarlet. No rush. You just take your time. It's fine. You've got to write a person. <laughs> it didn't take months. So you're intelligent. 245 intelligence. And currently, yes, yeah, so at the moment, uh, you are a... Is that a gentleman's one? And then that's a gentleman's sign, isn't it? So that's a, a, a man sign at the moment, I believe. So what can we call you? So you're all intelligent... We shall call this character Captain Brainy. And then if the character does then change to a lady, which has happened before in this particular sort of uh, situation where we've created someone and saved it, it doesn't matter because Captain Brainy can be a man or a woman. It matters not. Captain Brainy just matters about the braininess. So we'll do that. Okay. So now if we go to create a series, what series do we know that is going to require a lot of complexity? What requires complexity? Can we look at the, can we look at this stuff here? Can we go into series history? Can we click on stuff like this and see what went well? How do we know? I, I would like a list of all the, the series reports we've made because that would be really useful. Like if we made I Am The Law. So I Am The Law is a city about lawyers. Well, that is going to be about complexity though, isn't it? That is going to be about complexity. Now, the only thing is streaming number one was set in a city. So that's not going to work. We cannot have a city. We've got to have something else. We could do future zombies that would work because that got a 10 from david hayne but then we would need a different protagonist we did an action protagonist which do you know what we could probably just keep making protagonists yeah just make more let's uh, get rid of some of them i don't know uh whatever hunky hunk man you can be removed absolutely bye bye hunky hunk man and then yeah let's just keep making a protagonist until we get a good action one so yep yeah, you again keep doing that please we're making money at 230 million. Geeky Teapot is doing some stuff. Can we add new stuff to it? Oh, we can. We can add some stuff to it already. Um, okay, let's put in... Uh, I don't know. Yeehaw. Rootin' Tootin' Sheriff McShooter Pans. And then let's chuck in Drizzle Hamsters. Uh, and add one more. Okay, all right. Generic love story. There, there you go. Right, do that. Everyone else work on adding these series to Geeky Teapot. Lovely. And... Protagonist is happy. No, we need an action hero. Okay, well, let's just call you happy, happy person. Lovely. Right, happy person. Right, and back we go to protagonist. Make a new one, please, Scarlet. <laughs> Can we have an action person, though? Why can't I control the kind of protagonist we need? Why am I leaving it up to chance? This makes no sense. This is all very, very nonsensical. Okay, come on, come on. Action, please. Action. No, no, no. Another, another, another happy. I can't type. Another happy person. I don't want more happy people. I would like, please, an action person with much in the way of bravery, if you would be so kind. 
Please just add one in. It, this is ridiculous. Why can't I control what you're doing? I'm the boss. I'm the manager. And yay. Right. Okay. We've got someone who's brave. Right. Okay. What can we call you? We are just going to call you All Action Hero because that kind of works very, very well. So we'll have All Action Hero. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We'll save that. So what was the one we just did? Streaming one was, was racing, wasn't it? So it was racing in a city. So once that's finished, there we go. So if we now do a new series, we should then be able to do zombies like we did before. And they were set in space. Ah, now, no, hang on. No, 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 no. Was it zombies in space? Or was it zombies in the future? I think it might have been in the future, in fact. So the space walking dead was future zombies. Okay, so the space walking dead, future zombies zombies and that was it there was nothing else so zombies set in the future uh, 18 plus obviously uh we'll have the top two please we'll have those we've got the licenses so costs come down the director again can be uh, mr high over here with the 714 uh pick the technology kit it is the best technology kit we have and the project can be a blockbuster okay so the last one was called the space walking dead what should we call this one which is going to be if i'm honest this is going to be the final hazard this is going to be the last series that the geeky teapot is going to make so you know it, it a lot relies on this a lot is lying on the shoulders of this series i want it to be at least a nine in terms of average i would love to get all tens but i don't think that's possible i don't know how to do that in this game i think you need luck if i'm completely honest so okay what should we call this do you know i think let's just keep it simple let's just keep it simple and down the line and let's call it the space walking dead space brains <laughs> because zombies like eating brains everybody knows that zombies want to go and eat brains and in this particular scenario in this series the brains are all in space hence there being space brains i like that so yeah we'll do that future zombies it's on the biggest two sort of tv stations we can do uh, the tech kit is there these are directory it's all ready to go let's go and make our final final thing now that hasn't come up as streaming that hasn't come up as streaming number one which is very odd because I didn't, I think I picked the same top two people. Michael Foss needs a holiday immediately. Michael, we've just started doing the final big series of this studio. Why do you need to go on holiday right now, you silly man? Geeky Teapot with quite a lot of subscribers there. That's very exciting. Right, let's do some marketing. Let's do international campaign for marketing. Lovely. Can we do marketing again? Yeah, we can. Maybe when it gets to the end, we'll do some more marketing. We'll just keep absolutely marketing this thing. We'll just keep doing it because whatever, we're, the money can, we're just going to take the money and run when it's done. As soon as this finishes and we're all done with the space walking dead space brains, this studio is to close and we are all just going to run off with the profits. Let's be honest. Right. Very important action. Unimportant humor. Absolutely drop it down to there. Let's have 30%. Let's have mostly action. Uh, a tiny bit of humour, the minimum amount of humour we can cram into this about people eating your brains and then complexity 30% because it's very complicated to either eat a brain. That'll do. We'll have that, please. This is it then. The final hurrah. Oh, and people still need to go on holiday. Do they come on? Absolutely. Go on holiday quicker. We shall catch these early. We'll catch them early. It's you two, isn't it? It's the green shirts that they need to go on holiday next normally. Come on. Stop going on holiday. Stop going on holiday. No holidays. It's forbidden now. It's forbidden. You've got, this is it. We'll get a payoff from this and you can probably won't ever have to work again, if I'm completely honest. Um, uh, yeah, make a fan movie. Great. Carry on. Yeah, awful, awesome. 18k fans. Lovely. Carry on. Oinkle and Quacky. Everyone loves a bit of Oinkle and Quacky. Uh, right. Here we go. All action hero is going in with his 256 bravery. It's his first and possible. It's his, it's his last appearance for this TV studio. But maybe he will appear in other studios. I don't know. So all action hero, 256 bravery, which if we look at Barney, what do we have? 100? Oh, yeah, you're far better. So, yeah, we'll have you, please. Absolutely. Davina is back. Everybody is still working on it. The numbers are looking very encouraging indeed. Geeky Teapot is still making a quite a nice bit of money. We do need to add some more series to it. But yeah, we can't do that right now because we're doing this. We're making our TV series, which is very important. So whatever, that can just fall by the wayside now. I'm not bothered. <laughs> that needs far too much maintenance. 
That needs far too much maintenance. That's just a bit irritating, really. Plus, why is it only TV series that we've made? Why can't we add other TV series on? That's a little bit silly, isn't it? Um, right, Scarlett can go into the design bit. Claire can go into the camera bit. Pen can go into the directing bit. Norma can go into the sound bit. Michael can go down there and help Scarlett out as usual. Davina can go into the camera bit and Kevin can come down to the directing bit. So Norma's on her own. 34 million on all these things for the final time. Do you know what? Let's take out the rubbishy ones. Let's take out that 25k one. And then let's take out that 25k one. And then let's... I think these can all stay in. I think these screening things all affect the numbers that go up here. But I think that affects the end results. So let's take surround sound and CGI off because I don't know. They don't... I, I think they're too cheap. Like this thing up here, 4K, costs 2.2 million. Yet CGI is 25K which I don't fully understand, but oh, do I need them in? Do I need them in or not? Again, this is one of the things where I don't know. I genuinely don't know what difference it makes. Um, oh, do you know what? Let's just chuck it. No, I don't know what to do. I'm torn with indecision. Now, you see, it confuses me because surround sound is a basic thing you would expect. Surround sound is a thing that you would expect to have from watching a modern TV series, but it's only 25K. So what I don't know is if, because this is now an old tech, does including this bring the scores down? Or if I don't include it, would they, oh, well, it was okay, but the sound was terrible. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm tempted to, I'm just gonna leave them out. It's done. They've not been added in. We don't have CGI, although we must have CGI because we've got all the other stuff going on. Uh, three, two, two, eight, two, nine, two, five. That is lovely. So they will go up. Also, let's, we're getting to the end. Let's do another marketing campaign because why the heck not? I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but we will see. I don't know if it makes any difference. We'll just, we'll see if it works. I don't know. 1.8K fame. You can iron out all the errors first. Yep, you're not going holiday just yet. You can have a holiday at the end. Come on now. We've almost finished. It's almost done. If we get sound over 3.2k, I would be very happy with that. You just generated one sound point. We need to generate a little bit more than one, please. Come on. Come on. 3.2k for sound. I want to get that up now. I want 3.2k. The fame is coming down. Everyone's getting bored of it. It's just going to have to go live with slightly shoddy sound. Multiplies new protagonists. Great protagonists. Multi-platform. Good marketing. It's all exciting. Let's just get this done. Let's broadcast it. All Action Hero has indeed been promoted. It can all go into there. And then we'll just see what our final results are. This is it. This is the final huzzah. And we've got ourselves... Hey! Oh, that's that's good. I'm glad we can go out on this. The setting theme combination Future Zombies was close. Close to what? Who knows? Kevin High was phenomenal. The protagonist, all action hero, was superb. The story was just amazing. It's all glorious. I don't know why it was not tens across the board, because we did everything we could. We did everything we could to get that done. But okay, that is fantastic. There we go. We've got that done. You can go on vacation. You can go on vacation. You can create the final series report that we're ever going to do. The... <laughs> it just says the. The has got us a lot of viewers. How much money is it making? Just a piffly 3.1 million. Given that we did an awful lot of advertising on that, and it should be going out to multiple sort of uh, broadcasters, that's not very much at all. But there we go. And the final thing we can do... Let's go to streaming. Let's add some series into here and then we'll be done. Space Walking Dead. That's good. We'll put that on. ER Rune 2, Sheriff McShooter Pants and uh, the Fight for an Uncomfortable Pointy Chair, whatever it was. We'll put those in. You lot can work on those. Geeky Teapot can then just, you know, it can carry on. It's all fine. Michael Vosling's a holiday. Fine. Go on holiday then. Off your pop. There you go. 6.3 million. There you go. It's making a little bit more money. Streaming service is kind of breaking even, which is not particularly good. Hopefully we can sort that out when these new series have been added. Yeah, that needs a lot of maintenance, doesn't it, Geeky Teapot? The actual streaming service needs a lot of faffing about. And I don't know why you can't just... Why can't you just get TV series from other broadcasters? Because, like, let's think of Netflix. Netflix just doesn't broadcast Netflix shows. It broadcasts every TV show from all the different things. Netflix has got so much content. So it seems a little bit of a weird way around to do it. But OK, that's in, let's see, 27 million subscribers all of a sudden again. And um, 5 million from that. OK, Kevin High needs a little vacation. 
So that is it. I think this is a perfect point to call it for Series Makers. We've done everything we can. There is no technology left for us to research. There are no themes left. We've got a streaming service. The only thing that we didn't get at any point in the gazillion series we have made is a perfect 10 score across. We did not get a 40 series, if you like. We've got quite close. We've got 9.5s. We've got 9s and all that kind of stuff. So we never did get a 10. But do you know what? I do think there is a little bit of sort of a random element to the rating because sometimes it just doesn't seem to make that much sense. But there we go. And I've had fun with this. I've had I've had a lot of fun with this. At the start, I know there was a little bit of resistance because people are saying it is somewhat similar uh, uh, to another game. But you know what? Some people won't have played the other game that this is very similar to. They will not know that. So I kind of thought, do you know what? People seem to enjoy it. It's It gives you a good chance to sort of uh, mess around and make some crazy series names, have a little muck about with it. But yeah, I think we've done everything we can now. It's been fun, but it is time to finish up with Series Makers because I don't think there's anything else left for us to do. We could keep going, but I don't think there's anything really that we can gain from that. We'll just keep going. And uh, people, surely, I mean, I wonder what happens if you get to year 100. Is Penn's just still say, look, like this. <laughs> I mean, that would not make any sense at all. That would not make any sense. Surely these people get older. I mean, Pench can't be sat there like that. <laughs> Unless, I don't know, he's got the serum of life or whatever. He's got the serum of eternal youth. Or there is a picture in a loft with him looking very, very old. <laughs> he's sat here like this, looking young and fresh face. I do not know. But um, yeah, I, I just don't think there's anything left that we can do. We could keep going, but there is no real point because I think we have seen everything we need to see from Series Makers and now it is done. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed Series Makers and this final video, then please do leave a like. And also, if you are not already, which I imagine you all are, but if you are not, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with everything else that we get up to in the Geek of it. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geeky Teapot TV Series Making Studios and in the Geek of it, and I will see you next time. These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were well, you sat in the car park? <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stand in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this. 